questions. Hello, my name is Mr. Leo. I'm an I'm a studio artist and an art teacher here in Mira Mesa. And today we today we are doing fancy birds for Fancy Bird Fridays. And uh, we'll be using simple shapes to draw these things. And it'll be good for practice to build our proportions. So let's get started. We'll move our uh, we'll move our camera to our paper now. But we could make it cleaner by erasing the sketch lines. Anyway, for our first fancy bird, let's start in the middle. And we're gonna draw we're gonna draw an oval, you guys. But this oval's at a slight angle. Okay, the next thing is we are drawing a circle. Ostrich, oh, that's a good fancy bird. Dang it. I should have thought of that one, but I did not. So it is not an ostrich. Let's draw a few triangles. These triangles are kind of rounded for the beak. And we'll do another one for the bottom beak. This fancy bird has round, they're about like triangle, yeah, triangle beaks with very, very rounded sides. And then I want you guys to cut, cut into the circle and then come on out like so, see? Kind of like if you're drawing half of a heart. Yes, you are right, uh, DJ or Brooklyn. You guys always guess it right. It's gonna be a parrot. Good morning. All right, let's go ahead and draw the eye. I think it becomes more parrot-like when we color it with the parrot colors, because parrots have very distinct coloring, right? And then again, I'll do my little eye on the side and then I circle in the inside. Good morning, Fate. Hey, Fate's joined us. Yay. And let's color this part in too. Why not? So it becomes more parrot-like right away. Hello, good morning, guys. Okay, so this parrot that DJ and Brooklyn already guessed, we gotta give it some wings. So for its wings, we're gonna make I guess it's gonna be like a football shape for the wings. See, football shape. But over here on the bottom, I want you guys to make uh, little curves. So it kind of looks more fluffy. Oh, it's cold over there. Maybe because you guys are close to the lake. Oh, DJ, good guessing, DJ. Now let's go ahead and do um, the rest of our wings here. <clears throat> you see these uh, curves? Let's make a few more curves. One, two, three. And then another few. Because it's gonna be multicolored, right? So I cut those off so you guys can color it different colors for the wings. All right, let's go ahead and give our parrot some feet. And the feet will just be three ovals like this. Well, I guess it's three long beans. <laughs> We're always using beans, huh? 
So three long beans for its feet. One, two, three for each foot. What was homework fate? Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. Let me let me ask uh, one of my students in a minute. My my brain's not functioning right now. All right, let's go ahead and draw two parallel lines. So it'll be on a branch because parrots are usually on trees. And they have these rounded beaks, probably to break nuts, maybe. And then we'll make a little point where the branches end. You need some coffee, fate, so you can wake up. Just kidding. Coffee's for adults. All right, let's make some leaves on those uh, branches. Last thing that the parrot needs is tail feathers. So go ahead and follow along. This, I guess this would be like a triangle coming from the, the back of these shapes. And then we can, we could do the same thing here, little rounded ends and that's going to be a parrot. Okay. Oops. So I'm going to put away my pencil. Let's get our markers out, you guys. Let's draw out our eye first. Go ahead and draw the beak. It's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and draw the patterning on the on this parrot. And let's continue the contour of the body down to its feet. Let's get all these little toes too. One. Two, three toes each, grasping on a branch. And I'm gonna do three more toes out here. All right. Now let's do the contour from the top. Now we're going around this parrot body, and it just ends right there. We need a space where the wings will uh, overlap the body. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. Let's follow this football shape. And let's do these little curves on the bottoms of the wings here. Gives it texture too. Makes it look like a fluffy wing. And then let's continue the contour of the wing. And we'll just end it right there. Let's go ahead and draw our branch. It's pretty simple, right? I think coloring this is what will make it look more parrot-like because the parrot is fancy from Oh, hi, Fate. <laughs> and remember, this is just our first drawing out of three, as we usually do it. So you can follow along on our next one. All right. Let's get that leaf in. Other leaf. There, and that's a parrot. All right, let's move on to our next bird. I'm making good time. 
The parrot's coloration. If you could put some yellows, blues, reds, it'll look more parrot-like. Let's go ahead and draw our next thing. I want you guys to draw a lemon right in the center with our pencils, guys. This is gonna be fun. A lemon. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just a lemon. You Are you keeping yourself entertained, fate? While you're quarantined? So from the lemon, the tip of the lemon, I want you guys to make a line and it's gonna be a curvy line. It goes up. Kinda like a backwards S. This is a lemon. Yep, from the end of the lemon, we're making a long curvy line. Don't worry, it'll turn into something after. At the end of this curvy line, I want you guys to draw a circle. Yep, you got it. You got it. Mm -hmm. It's a flamingo. So from one of the from the uh, side of the circle, let's give this line some more volume. So we're gonna follow it parallel down to the lemon, and we'll do the same for the other end. Oh, good job, Brooklyn. Good guessing. And let's go down here. We're gonna give our flamingo some nice little tail feathers. So kind of like how we did our parrot, except this one's gonna have, oh, this one's gonna have tiny ones here on the bottom here. Okay. And flamingos have uh, an L-shaped beak. So it's kind of like an L but then this part is at an angle, see? And let's go ahead and put some of these fluffy things down below here too. Just a few. This will kind of show us where the legs are gonna go. All right, and then Let's go ahead and draw an eye. I'm just gonna put, ooh, I'm gonna make it do that. Just a curve going down, downwards, like a happy face. All right, now let's give our beak some volume. So we're following the line up top to make our flamingo beak. And then we'll do the same for the bottom. So it kind of looks like a banana, but it's not. Oh yeah, YouTubers. I'm, uh, yeah, what was his name? Like PewDiePie? <laughs> All right, let's do some legs. So from here, let's make, we'll do stick legs first. <coughs> so really long legs and then I want you guys to make a triangle because we're going to make some webbed feet there and in the middle of this line let's draw a little circle a little circle and check this line out guys from here we're gonna make a relevant equal length line, but it's at an angle this way. So see, measure it. If you, if you can measure it, make a leg of equal size right there. We're gonna draw a circle again, and that's gonna be where the joint is. And 
and then this same line here, we're gonna have it go across horizontally because uh, flamingos like to bend their legs and they look kind of uh, elegant doing that. And this triangle, we're gonna do the triangle for the feet. And flamingos have webbed toes, kind of like ducks. So I want you guys to kind of go in the triangle, make some wavy zigzaggy lines right in the center. So it looks like it has three toes. Cause I think it has three toes, but they're webbed. So we just want to kind of show that subtly on the ends. And there, that's our very easy, simple shapes. Or that's our very easy flamingo using simple shapes. Let's put away our pencils, guys. This is, uh, that's it for the sketch. Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> oh, why, why did we get blurry? All right, let's get our markers out, guys. So flamingos make good lawn ornaments. I see them all the time. I think because they're pink and they're very bright. I'll start with the eye. And then let's go ahead and let's draw the beak. So let's go down, up. And let's follow that circle head. We're not gonna close it off. We'll go down the length of our flamingo's neck. And let's continue the contour line. And let's do these little fluffy things where the legs come from, right? Let's draw these little fluffy things, fluffy little feathers. Oh, thank you. Somebody likes flamingos. All right, let's make some fluffy, fluffy tails over here. Nice fluffy feathery tails. Let's continue this contour line going up upwards. And around. And then over. Pretty simple, right guys? And let's, let's make a little bit of a line down here, just to kind of show it has wings that are folded up. And let's continue this leg here. So because the leg is just a stick figure, we need to give it some volume, so we're gonna draw around that line. But it's still gonna be thin. Then we're gonna go around the circle, so that's gonna make it look like knees. And let's continue that line. What does Preston and Jelly do on YouTube, DJ? And then let's continue this triangle. Preston and Jelly. I'm guessing they 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 cook. They cook? Do they cook? Alright. Let's continue this line. Same thing with the other leg, right? Let's get that joint in. Minecraft and Roblox. I bet they're really popular too, huh? Are they really popular, DJ? 
And let's make these lines. There. Pretty simple, right? That's our flamingo. We can put some texture here. And that's that. That's drawing number two. We have one more. One more after this one. La 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 la. Let's draw a oval. So from the center, we're drawing an oval at a pretty dramatic angle here. So it's just a diagonal oval, guys. Then, let's make a line, kind of like how we did our flamingo. This is going to show us where we're going to make our neck. So it's kind of like an S, right? Not really, kind of. <laughs> and then in the end, let's make a teardrop shape, guys. Teardrop shape. But it's, uh, it's to its side. Okay, and let's give this line that we made some volume. So let's make some parallel lines on either side of that first line we made. So we're just sketching, right? You get free merch from Preston if you draw Preston. Do they look really strange? J just curious. All right, now let's draw another oval here. So we can kind of make this creature look like it's puffing its chest out. And let's make some triangles here, guys. That's gonna show us where the legs are gonna come out of. They're epic, okay. Let's cut this triangle up. So if we make a line that cuts it into a triangle right there, for the beak. And then I want you guys to make a line going down each of those triangles we made down below. I'll look them up, DJ, after, after this class. I'm gonna see uh, these people you're very excited about. You've sold them to me. I will I will check them out. Oh, uh, this one's not a swan. This is even fancier than that. I think we should do another fancy bird episode. Now let's do some uh, ovals, guys. Just a few ovals. Or I guess they're more like uh, really long teardrop shapes. Let's do some really long teardrop shapes for its feet. Next thing, guys, I want us to make an area for its wings. I think this is where it's where it gets fancy. So right here, follow this line going out. 
Then we're gonna make even more shapes here for its wings. And these are gonna be long uh, curves. See what I'm doing here? Just long curves. And then the next thing, after we make three rows of these long curves, and these curves are just kind of like big happy faces, right? So right here in the back, I want you guys to make a really long, with, uh, two, with two lines, we're gonna make this really long thing that kind of looks like a cape. And then, but in the bottom, we're gonna make some wavy lines just like that. I wonder if you guys could tell what it is yet. And up top here, we're gonna make a few lines. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna make some teardrop shapes again. But I want them kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy teardrop shapes. And I want you guys to continue that teardrop shape right here, but they're gonna be kind of fuzzy. Fuzzy teardrop shapes, guys. What kind of merch do they have, DJ? Fuzzy, fuzzy teardrop shapes. And within those teardrop shapes, we make more teardrop shapes. You guys know what it is yet? Yep, yep, it's a peacock. Good job. And then inside those teardrop shapes, just a bean, just a bean shape, guys. Just a rough bean shape inside each little teardrop. Oh, hoodies. Awesome. Hoodies are nice. Let's give some volume to these little stick legs. Okay, so they're kind of thicker from the triangle and they get thinner as they get down to its toes. Oh, good job, Brooklyn. Let's do the patterning on its eyes. And I guess we'll do another teardrop shape, guys. Another teardrop shape. But this is... This is a uh, diagonal, like this. And then from the inside, there's this... There's this line that goes across. And then we'll make a black circle. And then a line that goes across once more. Just like that. This is what's happening down there. Woo! That's good. There, our sketch looks pretty good. And this one's a lot harder than the other ones because it's so fancy. This is a very fancy bird. And let's give, let's give some of these feathery textures down here. There's just a few curves, not too much. Just, just spread them out a little bit. So now let's put away our pencils. Oh, okay. Lots of merch, huh, DJ? Does Brooklyn watch that too? Just curious. Do you also watch that with your brother? marker here.
All right. Let's 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 get going. Let's get that beak first. Now let's go along the contour of the peacock. Let's go down, then around, and we'll get below. We're gonna cut through this triangle, but not the other one. The other one, we're gonna follow it, and we're gonna create the volume for the feet right and over here we'll make it a little fluffy where the triangle meets the the feet or the leg and let's continue the triangle shape and we'll bring it below or behind this uh this fe these feathers here and while we're here let's continue finishing up our legs so we'll do the other one here we'll make little fuzzy things and then lines for the feet. Oh, okay, Brooklyn doesn't like watching. I like playing. Yeah, that's that's me too for everything. Let's do all the little toes, guys. Are they funny? Are they really entertaining or are they just really, really good at the video games that you get really excited to watch them? Uh, that was a question for uh, Brooke, uh, DJ, sorry. So we'll stop right here and we'll go back to our peacock's face. Let's get those, uh, let's get those teardrop shaped uh, patterns on its face. And let's get that line from the center, and then another black circle for its eye, and then another line going out towards the beak. Oh, okay, I will check them out then. Let's go ahead and draw the top of our peacock's head and feel free to make it a little fuzzy sometimes. Let's go down the length of its neck and while we're up here let's get those little feathers on its head. So let's just draw a line for each one of those things that connect towards its head and then let's draw these fuzzy teardrop shapes which are its uh, head feathers. Peacocks are so fancy. All right. Now we got a few more shapes to draw. Let's do this shape here. I know it's hard to see because of all the lines. If you could follow along, these will be inside feathers. Now let's draw this top part of the contour here and then we'll cut in and we'll draw all these uh, uh, like happy face curves, these really long curves. That makes it look like um, uh, it has really big feathers on the top. So let's get those going. I think we have like three rows of them. It's not too bad. Just three rows. All right. Then let's continue these lines out here. Let's get this wavy line down below. These will be really fun to color because they have really interesting colors to them these fancy birds. Now let's do all the little teardrop shapes together. Oh man. Oop, gotta switch. 
my marker. It's almost out of ink. Let's see if this works. All right. There we go. Yep. Got a lot more ink now. I'm going to do all of those teardrop shapes. And I'm not trying to make them perfect because they have to look kind of fuzzy because they're supposed to be um, feathers, right? Mixed in with all the other fluffy feathers. So they don't have to be perfect. Then remember, teardrops within the teardrops. We'll just go through them pretty quickly. I'm not going for perfection. And then we'll draw the little bean shapes if we can inside each of them. And don't forget these little texture of the, the feathers. Makes it look nice and fluffy. Last thing I want to do is, there's this part here that's separate from the rest of this. This is actually going to be um, these lines here. I want you guys to make these lines going across just this section here. This will separate it from the rest of our peacock. Okay. And that's our... That's our peacock, guys. Whew. All right, that was pretty fun. And that'll be drawing number three for Fancy Bird Fridays. Thank you guys for joining. I'd really like to see them colored. And if you guys could share them, that'd be awesome. So, Keep practicing and uh, oh and by the way if you'd like to support me I have my Venmo on my page and I am also selling art and I teach online art classes if there are any specific things you guys would like to learn besides drawing I teach uh, all kinds of painting and I teach all kinds of drawing besides just uh, drawing outlines and stuff. Anyway, have a good day, guys. Have a good weekend. You guys, especially uh, Brooklyn and DJ, don't play too many video games, <laughs> but have fun. Thanks for drawing with me, guys.